minus 30. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off. See the aft. Now, what you are seeing is a view from the inside of the second stage. You have main engine cutoff, stage separation, and we we'll, we have a second stage engine start. You can see the first stage is on its way back for its first maneuver burn. Uh, it will have a three burn process, the entry burn coming up, or the boost back burn, sorry. Stage. Meanwhile, the second stage uh, is continued to perform nominally. It's got a six minute burn. First stage burn continuing to proceed nominally. This uh, boost back burn will go on for about another 10 seconds. So as you just saw, we had a successful uh, main engine cutoff, a successful stage separation, and then a successful stage second engine start. Uh, it was a little cloudy for the Falcon 9 coming off the pad, so we didn't get a great view of it, but it looks like we have a fantastic view of the second stage engine nozzle and the surface of the Earth right now. Yeah, so you guys probably saw it as we did. I don't know about you, but I got chills <laughs> seeing the, the booster fall away uh, from, <laughs> from the engine and just kind of glide back towards Earth and rotating like a great shot. Three different burns to get back to landing zone one. There's the boost back burn, which successfully completed. Then there's the re-entry burn, which is to slow us down as we go back through the atmosphere. And then there's the ever exciting landing burn as we approach <laughs> landing zone one. You actually just saw the grid fins on the first stage pop out right there. We use those to uh, dynamically steer the vehicle as it comes back down using uh, air resistance. Uh, as it passes through supersonic uh, airstreams to get it back towards the landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. Yeah, so a lot of really exciting stuff going on right now. We are watching the first stage booster come back down to Earth. It will be going through a series of burns, like Brian said, but primary mission is still going well. Dragon on top of second stage making its way to the International Space Station. A quick note about those grid fins. People always ask us, how do they exert such a large force on such a large cylindrical body? And it's the same principle if you stick your hand outside of a car when you're going 10 miles per hour on neighborhood streets. It doesn't affect you very much. But if you stick your hand outside when you're going 80 miles per hour on the freeway, you can exert a very, very large force upon a large surface simply from the air particles. The grid fins are doing the exact same thing. They're little, little airplane wings that are steering us back to landing zone one. Now, given the cloud conditions at the pad, it doesn't look like we're going to have great video of the first stage coming down from the pad, but we do have a crystal clear video link with the first stage, and just like last landing, I think we're going to have great video all the way back down. Uh, you'll see the engine ignition. Uh, we just deployed the grid fins. You saw those earlier as well. That means we're coming back into the atmosphere, and we'll use those for coming back to Earth. You can also see all the clouds we're about to head through as we come back to Earth. That's why you didn't see as great a video on the way up, and we had to show you an animation. Uh, it was because we did go through the, the clouds. Uh, that call out was confirmation that the ignition did just occur. Uh, you can see it there on your screen. Uh, a slight delay on the video feed, but you will hear the call-outs uh, as they come up. Uh, this burn itself is going to last for about 15 seconds, and it has just shut down. Uh, looks to be good right there. And then we have a landing burn coming up uh, in about a minute from now. Uh, that landing burn lasting just a touchdown uh, for about 30 seconds. Uh, so you're going to see it uh, come right into landing zone one, uh, stage one there. Uh, meanwhile, on your right side of your screen, you can see stage two. Uh, the stage two burn is going to last for about another two minutes. Uh, continues to look perform very well. Uh, that stage two engine can, has pretty deep throttle capability. It can go from about 81,000 pounds to 210,000 pounds. That's how we target that precision orbit. Uh, we put in a parking orbit of 200 by 600 kilometers. Uh, that's all good there. 
Meanwhile, stage one is transonic right now, uh, transitioning through the speed of sound as it's coming back to Earth and everything is looking good to go. Okay, so you've got some footage there of the booster as it comes back down. We're waiting for the landing burn to begin very soon. It was cloudy on takeoff, so we are expecting some clouds as we re-enter. So we really hope to be able to bring uh, some really good footage uh, as it comes back down to landing zone one, which is a, on ground. It's not one of our drone ships. And you can see it descending there with the landing zone in the background. It's amazing to think of what's happening. That is coming back from space with live footage. <laughs> It is approaching the landing zone now. Landing zone. Right. 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 So it looks like uh, the clouds are just beginning to break there, uh, making for a pretty picture-perfect landing. Uh, no video from the ground like we expected earlier, but uh, we did get great video all the way down. Uh, so uh, right now, the second stage looks like it's also proceeding normally. The primary mission today is, of course, to bring the international, uh, the Dragon to the International Space Station. And all, by all accounts, it looks like it's going very well right now.